I'm uh, 16, and my poster was called Vegetation Community Structure of Patches in an African Savannah. And so what I did was I measured plants, mainly trees and bushes, uh, on top of termite mounds and off termite mounds uh, in a savanna environment in Mozambique. I think uh, sort of ecological field research in a foreign country has a lot of logistical challenges associated with it. Uh, I was in a national park where uh, there are a lot of sort of challenges and, and risks that you wouldn't have when you're just on campus. And so you have to um, be with other people in the field at all times and try to juggle all of these logistical constraints. Um, and so overcoming those uh, and you know, coordinating with the other people you are working with in the field who might not be doing the exact same project as you are, uh, and all of these things. So working within the logistical constraints and still getting a good project up and running and completed, I think was a big sense of accomplishment for me in this project. Uh, and just the complications of, of uh, you know, going to another country, uh, making connections, creating a project, uh, and then successfully going there and carrying out the project. Uh, in a sort of foreign environment. Yeah, I had a great experience with both the faculty advisor that I worked with here at Dartmouth and also the research group I worked with in the field. So the research group I worked with in the field were from Princeton and they have been carrying out work in this area for some time and know it well. And um, they generously agreed to sort of uh, take care of me for a field season and you know, go out with me into the field and let me uh, join in on their research efforts. And so that was sort of the, the practical logistical context for, for how I carried out my research, uh, was to go out with them and carry out research. And I worked, worked especially with a one PhD student in, in that lab. Um, I also had great advising here when I, when I came back to Dartmouth and started writing up uh, my thesis and thinking about looking at my data and, and, and saying, you know, what do, I, what do I do with these data? How do I pull together uh, a nice uh, scientific question and answer it successfully uh, with data that I already collected? Uh, because, because of how sort of the field logistics worked out, I wasn't able to just go back and uh, collect some more data because I couldn't just fly back to Mozambique the next day. Uh. <music> Quote, library research was an, an integral part of writing up my thesis. I mean, I had <laughs> lots, lots of references, uh, mostly papers, but also some sort of non-traditional uh, ones. Um, I'd say, uh, research in the library really just means going on another website, I think, <laughs> from the lab I'm already sitting in. It's much more sort of online than the physical library. Um, but my advisor would challenge me straight away when I, when I was here on campus and started to write up my thesis. He would challenge me straight away and say, what's in the literature? Uh, what questions are being asked? What questions have already been answered? And so being forced to know those things required me to really delve into the literature and do some background research so I could write up my introduction. Um, and again, I, I, didn't only, I, I looked not only at journal papers. Um, a lot of the research that goes on in the park doesn't get published in peer-reviewed journals. It's mostly reports that get put out by the park. They were important pieces of information. Um, there was a PhD thesis done in the 70s that is, uh, has been very important for people doing research now uh, because uh, there was a civil war in the country and the national park I worked in was heavily impacted. And that's sort of the research that was done before then. It's this PhD thesis and so looking through that to, to make comparisons. So this experience in particular uh, of, of, of doing research uh, in a sort of conservation hotspot, uh, this beautiful national park in, in Mozambique, um, really got me interested in the wider, sort of the, the, broad, the broader picture. So not only the ecology research and you know, how do these species relate to each other, but also uh, 
how do people and society uh, play into the efforts to make conservation efforts in this park and restoring the ecosystem? Uh, and so uh, I think in a few years I, I might be going back to grad school to pursue what I originally thought was going to be an ecology PhD, um, but I'm, I'm now considering a much broader spectrum of, of, of graduate school paths that tie into sort of those broader questions of how do people relate to their environment and, and what role can I, can I play in that. Um, yeah. Uh, next year I will be working in Washington DC, uh, funnily enough doing almost the same thing that I did for my thesis, which is programming statistical analyses. Um, yeah, so that's what, that's what next in the immediate step.